Hey everyone, welcome to today's vlog. Um, full disclosure, I mean, as you can see, it's it's kind of short, and uh, well, there's a reason for that. Uh, I'll tell the full story, but long story short, um, I hurt myself pretty bad this last week. Um, I <laughs> I found some time to film a little bit just telling the story, and so that's what the vlog is today. I'm sorry it's not like a full, long, drawn-out thing, but I really needed to rest, but uh, yeah, I said in my vlog series I wanted to talk about the highs and the lows. I didn't think I'd be having so many lows, <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's the story. Oh, the patch? <laughs> That's just BioFreeze. Uh, let me tell you the story. So let me set this up for you, okay? It's 8.30 in the morning. I had just woken up for class. Uh, I'm doing everything on Zoom this semester. And so I get up and I open my laptop. I log in. Everything is going well. And there's still like 60 seconds until class officially starts. So I say, I'm going to go run to the bathroom. Well... <laughs> I jump up and I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I turn the corner and my feet slip out from under me. And as I'm falling, before I even hit the ground, I feel and hear the side of my neck go like this. Now mind you, Raquel is still asleep and I hit the ground and a flood, a flood of pain just starts to shoot all over my neck, into my head, down into like my shoulder blades. And I just start going, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then the pain just overtakes me and I start to scream. I'm like, ah, ah, Raquel, ah, ah. <laughs> I have never in my life been in so much pain. I couldn't move. I seriously thought for a moment there that I like fractured my, <laughs> I thought I fractured my neck or something. I was scared. I couldn't move. Raquel jumps out of bed. What happened? What happened? And you know, she helps me get up. And then I try to go back to class and I'm sitting there and they can see me on Zoom, I'm imagining, uh, because you know, campus policy, if you're gonna take your class on Zoom, your camera has to be on. So I think all my classmates just saw me with a face like this. And I'm sitting there in class and I'm like this, oh, ah, ah. But I seriously have never been in that much pain all at once before. Finally, Raquel convinces me just to get out of class. I need to go lay down and try to nurse whatever I just did to myself. So she has to help me up off of the couch. She walks me over, I'm like leaning on her. I'm still screaming in pain. <laughs> and uh, she tries to sit me down on the bed and lay me down. And it took us like 20 minutes, I think, to get me on the bed and laid down. As I'm laying on the bed, I'm still in a lot of pain. More pain than I've ever been in my life. And I start to genuinely, I start to believe, I start to believe I think I'm gonna pass out, Raquel. So I'm like, Raquel, I'm scared, Raquel. <laughs> anyway, we get on the phone with the doctor. He says, you need to come see me. So we go and obviously I didn't break anything. My neck wasn't fractured. I think that was just like my mind going to like the worst case scenario. Nothing was broken. I probably just pulled a muscle really bad. Um, and so I can't really, at this moment, I can't really like, I had to uh, turn to look at things, you know? I had to turn my whole body to see who was talking to me. And I don't know if you guys watch 90 Day Fiance or you've seen any of the memes, but I was really starting to look and act like No Neck Ed. I couldn't move. So we go to the doctor, he gives me some painkillers and uh, now I just had to deal with it, try to nurse it. But guys, this thing was super wild. I, <sighs> the tension that I have, it's super tight in my neck. The tension and like just the full neck 
and back pain, you know, it caused a headache. I had really, really bad headaches the first night to the point where I started throwing up. I was so uh, I was so dizzy. I was so nauseous. I ended up throwing up and I was like, I need to go to bed. That was a pain. Raquel had to help me into bed. The doctor suggested that I sleep with my uh, my legs up. Uh, and so here's a little clip of that. What's up, guys? <laughs> Sleeping with my legs elevated to uh, take pressure off of my neck and my back. It's just so annoying. It's the most annoying thing ever. <laughs> Like, I can't move, guys. This is so weird. I don't know. Pray for me. Raquel, uh, that same day that I hurt myself, while we were sitting in the doctor's office, she went and uh, bought me these. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the socks that your grandmother probably wears <laughs> to make sure that she doesn't fall. My wife took care of me, made sure that I won't fall again in the house. Because I think, I think right now, if I were to trip again, I think you just have to let me go. Maybe there's something to be learned out of this. I don't know. <laughs> I think what I have been learning is a little bit about Raquel. Even though she, I don't know if she was trying to make fun of me or not. But Raquel has been, uh, man, she's just been the goat through this whole thing. Taking care of me. Uh... <laughs> Making sure that I get up and out of bed and making sure that, you know, I have my pain medication when I'm supposed to and, and all that stuff. Putting this uh, biofreeze on me. Anyway, pray for your boy. <laughs> pray for your boy. And uh, listen, be careful. Don't be ashamed to wear these if you need them, guys. Don't end up like me. See you later, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for understanding why this vlog is kind of one dimensional. Um, after a lot of rest and, uh, you know, nursing uh, my neck back to health, I feel better. I think I'm at like 80 or 90%. I can look up and left, right, down. I can do all the things I couldn't do. <laughs> um, so guys, thanks again for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next week. See ya.